Hey Tom, this letter came in from one of our viewers and they want to know what happens after each block party is over. Oh, well that's easy. We always have a press conference just like the Steelers do after each game. I'll tell you what, we'll show you clips from our latest press conference during this Saturday's block party that features Cindy Morgan in concert, the exceptional new film Box of Faith, and the exciting program The Real Winning Edge. So be sure to join us this Saturday from 6 to 9 on, on the, the Cornerstone, Cornerstone Block Party. Block party. Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate the team on a successful block party last week. It was a good collective team effort by everyone involved. It wasn't perfect by any means, but we'll continue to work on areas we need to improve on and we'll continue to get better. I'll now open the floor for any questions. How do you feel about your individual hosting performance last week? <sighs> Well, I feel that I did an effective job. I did mess up on a few of my lines, but hey, I'm only human. This is a tough gig and it's impossible to be perfect each week. Having said that, I will continue to work on my technique and strive to make myself better each and every week. What are some areas that you feel you need to improve on? Uh, just being better in all areas. It's all about execution and timing. Those are big components of hosting, and they are crucial in determining going home as a winner or going home as a loser after each block party. Any more questions? Thank you. Any questions? How do you feel tonight's block party is going so far? Perfectly. Next question. <laughs> yes, you can have my autograph for only $50. Anyone else? Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed Box of Faith. First time we played that one. And, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting, you know, that she finds that box of stationery and she starts writing letters to God. And I think that's kind of cute. And it's kind of telling, though, that that's what we need to do when she here, here the main character was in this difficult situation, really struggling, dad falsely accused. Here she is trying to make it on her own, a senior in high school, just living in this uh, storage facility but trusting that God was gonna answer prayers and it gave her a way by writing those cards, gave her a way to communicate with God, uh, at least a focal point. It's so important, you know, we all walk through seasons in life and there's highs and lows and it's so important that we don't ever allow God to become our enemy. He's not the one against us. There, we live in a fallen world, so if it's you that's walking through that hard season today, I encourage you to run to your Heavenly Father. Know that you could open His heart. You know, there was an exercise that God had led me to do after walking through a very difficult season, and invite. it was an invitation from God for me to write down letters to people, mm -hmm. and that was a release. God used that to bring healing even to my heart and to others. I just thank God for that. So I see that in this story. Well, and, you know, obviously we can pray to God at any time. There's something about writing though. There's something about putting things down on paper that really focuses our attention. And sometimes we don't know how to ask. And when we write it out, it becomes clear to us. Well, I, again, I hope you enjoyed the movie. Again, we'll be showing that again in the future, but uh, we, we liked it. Well, up next is a program we liked as well called The Real Winning Edge. You're gonna hear some great stories of faith. 